This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. In this video, before we start applying our ink, we want to lay down the layer structure for this character. This is probably one of the most important aspects of designing an animatable character. And you don't want to just jump in, especially if you don't have a lot of experience with this. Because you'll find, depending on the animation software you plan to bring this to, you want to have your layers laid out and ordered a certain way. Luckily, what we're going to do here can be translated to many different pieces of software. And I have different courses for this software. And in those courses, I show you how to take the character that we're designing here and put it into the structure needed for that certain animation software. So what you're seeing here should apply to most software and it should help you when laying things out and allow you to properly animate and give you less headaches down the road. Let's bring up the layers panel and we have two layers currently within the layers, rough sketch and then our reference. The first thing we want to do is create a master group. And the rough sketch is currently selected. We can come in and swipe to the right to select the inserted image as well. So now you have the ability to take these two items and either delete them or group them. We want to tap on group and we now have a group a folder that houses these items. We can tap on the group and rename it, and we'll name it to chat. Of course, this is our character. You can name your character, whatever you want. But if you name him Chad, that's quite an honor. So anyway, the layers we currently have in the group aren't actually going to be part of the final product. But what we could do is just swipe to the right on both of these, and then create a group within a group. Name this group reference or references. What's cool is you can easily downsize this group to save on clutter, but you can also hide them if we don't want them visible, which just makes the process easier. And ultimately we will probably remove that group when it's all said and done, but for now it'll help us. Let's create a new layer by hitting the plus sign and we wanna make sure that it's in the chat group. And we want to really think about this. And so we wanna think about how a character is set up. If, for instance, we move our front arm above our head or anywhere else, it's going to be in front, not behind, which means we want the front arm to be the first layer. And you can choose how you want to name this. Again, it might depend on the animation software you plan to put it into. But for now, we're just going to abbreviate and just name it FA for front arm. That should be a pretty universal and easy label for us to remember as we continue to build this all up. So that's going to be the front arm. Next, we're going to create the front hand. And so we're going to make a new layer and we can name this one f.hand or hand relaxed, we'll put this as, because we're going to have at least three hand poses. And relaxed will be the default state. You can name it hand, hand default, whatever you want to do, but hand relaxed should work for what we're doing here. We're going to put all of the hand poses into a group, but we can't create a group with just one layer selected. So you could, if you wanted to, just keep going as we are doing and create a new layer with the plus button, which will create another empty layer and you could rename it. Or you can swipe to the right of hand relaxed and duplicate it and simply rename it to the new hand pose. So just remove hand, relax, and put it to hand point. And we can duplicate it a third time 
and just keep hand once again, but name this part fist. So we have a relaxed hand, a point, and a fist. We can select those and group them and rename the new group hand, or in this case, front hand. So we can just do FH if you want, or you could put FHS for front hands, or you could just type out front hands, whatever label works for you. So now we know that the front hand is going to go underneath the sleeve, which is why it's below the front arm. So next we're going to create a head group, but we need to create our layers to get the group in. So let's start with one layer and name it head. That will be for the face or the main outline of the head. We can set up the second one, which will be mouth. This will also be a group, but this is just for a placeholder as of right now. We can make a third layer for the head group, which will be eyes. And again, this will be another group, but again, just to kind of lay it down and get our structure in place and to get your mind there. The fourth layer will be labeled front eyebrow or FEB or FEB if you want to abbreviate like we are. And this will be back eyebrow or BEB for back eyebrow. And then we have one more layer. We're going to label this one hair. So now we're going to put all these into a group. Just select them all, group them together. And we can name this one head. And then hit enter. Now the head is established. And again, as we said, we have different mouth and eye groups here. So with that mouth, we're just going to come in now and rename it to closed. And we're going to create a second layer. We're not going to create all the poses right now, but we're just going to create a couple layers to get the group in. We have quite a few phonemes we could establish, but for right now, we're just going to go with ETC because that's going to be one we will need for sure. And now we have two mouth poses. We can create that group and we can rename it to mouth poses or mouth. And then we'll add the rest as we continue, as I said. For the eyes, we want to group some things together, such as the eyeballs, the pupils, and other attributes. And so we're going to rename this whites for eye whites or eyeballs is another way you can label it we'll label the second one above that pupils and we'll create a third layer for this group and we'll label this one lids we're just going to select all those and group them into a new folder and label it eyes and we should be good to go you can do more layers. We could add shadow layers. We could add all sorts of different details and separate those into layers, but we're just doing a very basic structure. So that way you can get your mind into the process of creating characters for cartoons versus just design. So with that said, we have all of the main features for the head where we need it. Things such as the nose can be applied on the head layer, You'll find that other details can also share layers, and we'll get to that as we continue to build up and design. So let's collapse the head. We want to create the body group. We're going to need some layers for this. So we'll name this first layer shirt, hit enter, create a second layer. We can label this one jacket. Create another layer, and we can label this one neck.
typically we, we put the neck as part of the body and we could also put the collar on the same layer as the neck. We can name the next layer for the body pelvis. And then we'll name one more layer and call it buckle for the cat belt buckle. These are currently not in the correct order we want them in the group. We'll probably end up rearranging them later as we continue to build up our assets. It's also easier to kind of see some of this stuff as you build it up. But we're just going to select all this and group it into a new folder, which we can rename body. You can also put the groups in caps if it's easier for you. Completely up to you. Now things are starting to shape up. We have the body, front arm, and head. We can now move down to the front leg. So what we can do is hit that plus button. We're just going to rename this to F leg or F dot leg or FL, however you want to abbreviate. We can name another layer, front foot, or FF. You can put them into a group if you wish. We're not going to here. It's really not necessary to do. However, if there's an issue that you have, if you want to just group it together for organizational purposes, you can by all means do that. Completely up to you. We do have the back limbs, the back leg, and the back arm that need to be taken care of. But as described, we will be duplicating those elements and altering them from the front limbs to make sure everything is symmetrical and looking good. So we'll be actually saving that part for later. But we have the main pieces in place for the front limbs and the body and head, which is going to make everything easier as we continue to work. So with that said, we have the main layer structure in place. We're going to pause here and up next, set up the process for inking. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.